Welcome to Grand Sumo Highlights on NHK World. We are at day 15, the final day of the New Year's tournament. Kiseno Sato clinched his first tournament title on day 14. Today he wraps up that tournament against Hakuho. Senshuraku at the Kokogikan, the home of Ozumo. Kiseno Sato's parents came in from Ibaraki Prefecture to watch their son and celebrate his Yusho. Up first, it's Takanoiwa and So Kokudai, two special prize winners. Takanoiwa has won the Outstanding Performance Award for the first time, while So Kokudai takes home the Technique Prize. That's also the first prize for him. Takanoiwa surges forward. So Kokudai moving to the side, and Takanoiwa loses his balance at the edge. A Hikiyotoshi hand pull down victory for So Kokudai. He finishes at 12 and 3. Takanoiwa has the better Tachi eye and looks like he will push out So Kokudai quickly. But So Kokudai responds by circling. Circling and then pulling down Takanoiwa. How do you feel about winning the prize for the first time? I'm very happy. You were good at grappling. How do you feel? I'm happy. You marked 12 wins for the first time. I'm glad I did. How do you feel about it? I'm very happy. You had 11 wins and also won the Outstanding Performance Award. I always try to go on the offensive. I want to continue to improve. You'll be facing higher ranking wrestlers in the next tournament. I will do my best. Up now, Kaise and Gagamaru. Kaise finishing strong. Currently with a 7-7 seven and seven record and going for a majority of wins. Gagamaru slams into Kaise. Kaise trying to lift up the upper body of Gagamaru. Gagamaru weak in the lower body. And sure enough, Kaise wins by Yorikiri force out. So, he finishes with five straight wins and has a Kachikoshi majority of victories in this tournament. Gagamaru finishes at 5 and 10. Here's the replay. Gagamaru looking good at the start. But with that shaky lower body, he is unable to hold his ground. And Kaise wins by force out. We move on to Hokuto Fuji and Shio. Shio giving it his all as a rookie, a first-timer in the top division. He needs a win here on the final day. Hokuto Fuji just gets better and better already with his kachikoshi. Hokuto Fuji plows into Chio. Chio struggling but is unable to pick up his eighth victory. Instead, he has a Make Koshi, majority of losses. Hokuto Fuji, 9 and 6, fine record in his second tournament in the top division. 
Hokuto Fuji. Looks like he will be a regular in the top division. Here are Chiyoshoma and Sada no Umi. Chiyoshoma is at his highest career rank, Maigashira 6, and doing okay, 7 and 7. This Basho has been an adventure for Sada no Umi. He started off 5 and 0 oh and then self destructed. Currently, he's at 7 and 7. Sadanomi immediately gets a strong grip, left hand inside, and he wins by Yorikiri force out. So finally, picking up his kachikoshi is Sadano Umi. Sadanomi had three straight losses going into the final day. And was stuck on seven wins, but he comes through on Senchuraku. Gets a strong left hand inside, right hand outside position, and wins by Yorikiri. The next pair are Chio Otori and Yoshikaze. Chio Otori has been up and down throughout this tournament. Yoshikaze, another guy at 7-7, seven and seven needing a win on the final day. Yoshikaze, showing his typical agility and speed. And he wins by under-shoulder swing down, Kataskashi. So he has a kachikoshi on the final day. It took him the first week to warm up, but he ended up winning six of his final seven matches. He comes in low, and you can see what he's trying to do, raise up the upper body of Chio Otori with a thrusting attack. When the thrusting doesn't work, he gets an under-shoulder grip, and he uses that to power down Chio Otori. Aoyama and Arawashi are up next. Aoyama will have his wedding ceremony next one, so he was really happy about getting his eighth win yesterday. Arawashi at five and nine. Aoyama getting started with his funny attack, but he has a bit too much forward lean, and Arawashi wins. An arm grabbing force out, Hikake by Arawashi. Arawashi with only six wins this tournament, but two of those have been Kimboshi upsets of Yokozuna. So quite a basho for Arawashi. And he wins on the final day. Ishiura now takes on Sho Hozan. Sho Hozan will turn 33 years old in a couple of weeks. Ishiura has struggled in his second tournament in the top division. Both guys at 6 and 8. Ishiura gets low, tries to grab the leg of Sho Hozan, and Sho Hozan will have nothing of that. He shoves out Ishiura with authority. A thrust down. Tsukita Oshi. And Ishiura looks shaken up. Sho Hozan finishing at 7 and 8. Ishiura loves to do this at the Tachiai. Dive down and try to get an inside position against a bigger opponent, but he is unsuccessful here. 
Up now are Chionokuni and Mitake Umi. It's been a great basho for Mitake Umi. He receives his first technique prize. The Ginosho. A strong 10 and 4 record. Chionokuni, almost as good at 9 and 5. No holding back with Chionokuni. He comes in with all his energy, but Mitake Umi responds. Now Mitake Umi grabbing the upper body of Chionokuni, and Chionokuni, you saw that left hand go down. So it's a Squinage beltless arm throw victory for Mitake Umi. An awesome 11 and 4 record. Takeumi looks like a rising star in Ozumo. The Maigashiro one starts off by shoving back Chionokuni. Chionokuni responds with a strong slap and he surges forward but can't finish off Mitakeumi. Instead, it's Mitakeumi who regains control of the match. And then throws down Chionokuni with a beltless arm throw. You had 11 wins and won the prize. I don't know what to say. I'm very happy. It will be good if I can win as many bouts as I did in the next tournament. On the dohyo now are Takara Fuji and Miyogiryu. It's just not happy, happening for these two. Takara Fuji, 5 and 9. While wow, Miyogiru is doing even worse, 4 and 10. Miyogiru surges forward, but Takara Fuji has a strong left hand outside grip. Can he finish off Miyogiru? Indeed, he can. The Yorikiri force out. And a win for Takara Fuji. Six and nine tournament record for him. Looking at the replay, Miyogiru starts off okay. But Takara Fuji doing a good job using the entire ring. To win the match. Here are Endo and Takayasu. Endo, the most popular guy in Ozumo, currently at seven and seven. While Takayasu has received the Fighting Spirit Prize for the fourth time in his career with a strong ten and four record. Endo needs one more win for his Kachikoshi. Comes in low but bounces right off the big upper body of Takayasu. Endo nearly had Takayasu pushed out, but he loses his balance. So instead, it's a Hataki Komi slap down win for Takayasu. Endo finishes with a Make Koshi. Takayasu finishes at 11 and 4. Big hit by Takayasu, but Endo seems to have the advantage right here. But some quick thinking by Takayasu to slap down Endo. I was able to wrestle as I wanted and felt good about it every day. Up now are Ikioi and Shodai. Ikioi has secured his majority of wins, eight and six. Shodai making his debut at Sekiwake. He'll have to give up that rank with a six and eight record. <laughs> 
Ikioi. Circling around Shodai, but Shodai stays on his feet and then slaps down Ikioi. Shodai finishing at 7 and 8. And despite the losing record and having to give up his Sekiwake rank, he is certainly a rising star in this sport. Shodai a bit more stable than Ikioi. And he's rewarded with that Hataki Komi slap down. Here are Tamawashi and Takekaze. Both men have been uh, late bloomers, doing very well. Both at 9 and 5. Takekaze is 37 years old, but he's fighting like a 27-year-old this tournament. A 10 and 5 record for the oldest man in the division. Tamawashi, a respectable 9 and 6 in his Sekiwake debut. A very good tournament for Takekaze, 10 and 5. He comes out hard and fast at the Tachi Eye and then wastes no time pushing out Tamawashi. There's another angle. On the dohyo now are Tedano Fuji and Koto Shogiku, two sad Ozeki. Koto Shogiku will have to give up the Ozeki rank after 32 tournaments due to his 4 and 10 record. Tedano Fuji also at 4 and 10. Koto Shogiku entered this tournament as a Kadoban Ozeki for the seventh time. And he fails to escape. Does come out strong here on the final day, though. And he forces out Tenno Fuji in his final match as an Ozeki. A 5 and 10 finish for Koto Shogiku, Tenno Fuji, 4 and 11. He will fall to Sekiwake in the next tournament, but he gets one more chance. If he can pick up 10 wins next tournament as a Sekiwake, he will be returned to the Ozeki rank. Here's the replay. Koto Shogiku probably looking his best this tournament in this match. We are at the final match of the New Year's Grand Sumo Tournament. It features the winner of the tournament, Kiseno Sato, against Yokozuna Hakuho. Kiseno Sato has never been 14 and 1 in a tournament as his mom and dad look on. If he gets his 14th win, that would certainly build his case for Yokozuna promotion. Hakuho, still the king of the ring with 37 Yusho. He has his pride and doesn't want to lose to Kisino Sato for the third straight time. Launches with a strong initial charge. He is trying to push out Kisano Sato, but Kisano Sato with a beltless arm throw 
to finish at 14 and 1, capping off his usual in style. The fans in the Kokugi Khan are thrilled with what Kisiro Sato has accomplished this tournament. His first career Yusho. And perhaps promotion to Yokozuna. Here's another look. Hakuho starts off strong, determined to beat Kisuno Sato, but is unable to take Kisuno Sato over the Tawada rice bales. Instead, it's Kisuno Sato who wiggles away. Another look from a different angle. Take a look at how Hakuo is using his entire body to try to take Kisuno Sato out of the ring, but Kisuno Sato calmly wins by beltless arm throw. And the presentation of the Emperor's Cup. Congratulations. Thank you. You made your debut 15 years ago and were promoted to Ozeki five years ago. But you could not quite win the title. How did you finally overcome that last obstacle? I focused on winning each bout, one by one. That seems to have worked. I want to believe in my sumo, practice, and be stronger. I will work hard to show good bouts to everyone. The Sumo Association is scheduled to hold an extraordinary meeting this week to discuss Kisuno Sato's promotion to Grand Champion. If he is promoted, we could have the first Japan-born Grand Champion in 19 years. A reminder, the next tournament starts on March 12th in Osaka. Thank you for watching Grand Sumo Highlights.